There are 14 torches on this procession lasting three weeks until the 5th of June, which is the eve of D-Day, which will be the, marked on June the 6th, representing 80 years since the largest amphibious invasion, which marked a turn in the Second World War where France was liberated and the Allied victory over the Western Front followed soon after. And here in Botley in Oxfordshire, many of those 14 nationalities are represented in this cemetery. The only Greek soldier to be buried in Britain is here. There are also South Africans, Canadians, hundreds of Britons, and also those from the Italian and German armies. But the reason why the Commission is so keen on education as part of this process, this uh, roadshow will be touring all over the United Kingdom, all four corners over the next few weeks. They're so keen on education because in stunning new research, they found that one in 10 Britons do not know what D-Day is. They also found that one in five younger Britons aged 18 to 24 also don't know what D-Day is. They also found that a third of people who do know don't also understand the significance of the event and it's standing as a moment of a turning point in the war. Well, earlier today, I went to ask some local people here in Oxford, did they know what D-Day was? I think it's really brave what they managed to do all those years ago. It's absolutely amazing and um, I definitely think it's worth celebrating um, because they did so much for us and the least we can do is have one day for them. Did it, that's like the end of World War II, isn't it? Uh, 1944, that's like the end of World War II. I don't really know much about it. I used to know a bit, but not anymore. Um, the end of the war. That's VE Day. I don't know them. It's uh, the 80th anniversary next month. It was when the Allies landed at Normandy. Okay. Do you know what D Day is? No. 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 Well, Charlie Peters, thanks for joining us. A magnificent moment, um, but we could do with some better education around D Day, couldn't we? Dear, oh dear.